Another uh, piece of equipment that if you'll start seeing a little bit more of is this thing called a CO2 monitor, which mine just arrived today. Now, CO2 is what we emit when we, um, you know, uh, when we exhale, so carbon dioxide. And so these monitors um, measure how much carbon dioxide there is in a room. So if you can imagine, it, it can be used as a proxy of thinking how much of exhaled breath and viral particles are in the room. Now, an ideal um, in a COVID world is that the indoor CO2 reading should be less than 800. Now, mine has just ticked over, so probably I need to open the window. Um, and, and these, you know, a lot of, if you've got a business, you know, you can start looking online for one of these because it, it basically tells you that, you know, gives you an indication of when you need to open the windows or doors and get outdoor air coming in. Another very useful device that you should start looking into if you do have a business or you are really worried um, is a air purifier, a HEPA filter. You can get a standalone um, HEPA filter and they um, are effective in... Um, filtering 99.97% of small uh, viral particles out of a room. They won't affect your CO2 reading, um, but they are another, uh, you know, thing added, uh, you know, uh, thing you can get um, if you're really anxious. And, and these are the sort of things that we need to start thinking about. Before, at the beginning of the pandemic, it was all about, you know, cleaning your hands, sanitise your hand. Now you really have to start thinking about the sanitising the air or being very aware of shared air. And if you are later to be having guests at home, it's important that you ventilate your house well before they come, after they arrive and when they're there. In fact, the NHS in the UK, because it's winter, has just launched a campaign where they've actually made an ad showing how these viral particles um, accumulate in a room, they've visualised it, and they've told people that even though it's cold, even for 10 minutes every hour, if you open the windows and allow air in, that will significantly reduce the risk of transmission of these um, COVID aerosols. 